All right, so let's give this a try. <clears throat> Day one of me trying out this crazy, stupid thing. Be a crazy person walking around the park with my camera up. That's all right. Let's go ahead and get my gloves on that are way too thick. I already ordered a pair that aren't so thick. It's been a cold winter in Las Vegas. Keys, keys, yeah, no, it's flipping all over the place. Hey, there we go. It's mostly too dark to see anything anyways. So that's a problem I didn't think about. This is a problem I care about this morning? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're just going to go ahead. I'm trying to get my alarm with my car. Anyways. So I did make the decision this morning to go ahead and drive out to Western Trails, which is about five minutes away from my house, basically on Decatur, Decatur and Warm Springs. It's just on the road. advocate for if you can find some places that have a little bit less movement as far as cars and different shit going around that you go ahead and do that as much as I love walking down one side of my street and having a million cars going by. Even on this side, there's quite a bit of cars that go by. Something to think about is, at least in the winter this time of the year, I have all these videos, unless I get a little kind of like camera ring light, they're going to be bathed in darkness I wonder if there's a way that I can just swap also the camera around I'm on this DJI app it is this little gimbal which I had for two years and haven't used and I'll might as well start using that stuff. So, morning walks. I have become obsessed with my morning walks. And I am becoming a very, very strong advocate for the morning walks right away when you wake up it kind of gives you something really that you're excited for when you get out of bed in the morning and it takes a minute though to be excited for something like that not a lot of people like to get up yeah see we get in the dark spot here. There's a. You cannot see anything. In fact, I feel like what you're seeing, all you're seeing right now is the DJI's light reflection. Well, that's alright. Because they're getting better. Oh, I forgot. 
Hey Siri, set an alarm for 20 minutes. 20 minutes counting down. Hey Siri, start an outdoor walk workout. And there she goes. Switch hands. Yeah, you cannot see me at all. And the roosters are going. So, not only will I end up being the guy walking around with his camera, I'm going to end up being the guy walking around with a light on his face. So depending on your schedule, I normally could advocate that actually you be a little bit more of a normal human being. You know, you probably get to work at eight, nine o'clock. That should allow you to see some sunlight. I prefer that people walk in the sun. I myself, our office, main headquarters are in Nashville. So they're two hours ahead of us. A little bit of an early period anyways. And so eight o'clock is essentially six o'clock. And it kind of works well that way. People are starting their day off of questions for me to be kind of on their time. Instead of here on Vegas time. And we're back into some light. Cool little general store is the, uh, if you guys can see that, cool little general store is the uh, restrooms. A little bit nicer than some of the restrooms of the other parks I've been in. <laughs> One that I'm sure uh, I'll be showing you guys soon. But generally, this is a quiet place, and it's got a little bit more nature to see. Your eyeballs have a little bit more to absorb. And that's one of the things that you really want to do in the inner morning walks. Um, I'm trying to, as much as possible, not to uh, look down at the camera in my face. But to not look down into your phone while you're on your morning walks. To uh, really focus on getting light in, getting information in, seeing green, seeing trees, nature, whatever it might be, because we are trapped as little monkeys in this modern world, and we don't get to see our treetops and our nature as much as our eyes have been accustomed to, our brains have been accustomed to, it just Get some synapses firing. I'll find some science on that for you guys eventually. You know, as I get more and more into this, what you would call wellness coaching, I want to make sure that I'm, these claims I have are backed by science, backed by studies. But, um, you know, doing, doing this has made me you think a lot of things, especially because uh, I'm trying to find systems and habits in place for, I believe, pretty much anybody can do. I think something that's always amazing to me is that four a.m. 
in the morning. There's still some people out of this park. And God knows what. Walking around like me. Just not uh, talking to themselves. See, what they don't know, though, is that I'm talking to myself. And I will eventually get five YouTube views of my first terribly shot video walking around to the viewer in complete darkness. Complete darkness. I am the Batman. Anyways, back to morning walks. So, you get up 4 or 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. I would say that if you had to get to work at 9, as long as you don't have a long commute, you can get up at 7 a.m. and get at least a 20 minute walk in. Just totally fine, but bounce out of bed, give yourself something to look forward to. Having all your stuff ready to go, um, as I'm trying to get better and better at this, I'm going to at least list down my routines, try to do some stuff before, then before, try to do some things on Sundays, but... I have a problem, and I don't know what everybody else is like. I have too many things I got to think about. I start doing this weird wandering around my house, going in the wrong rooms, the wrong things at the wrong time, like an old person with a mental disease wasting a bunch of time walking around so um getting out of bed you gotta put my contacts in I'm immediately going then you know if I'm not cold because sometimes in the morning I'm just a little bit cold especially this time of year uh, let's say that you just want to put your thermals on your thermals on for like your walk in the winter or you know just your clothes that you're gonna go for a walk in which by the way this is like the middle of summer like you can wear the same clothes that you're uh, gonna go to work in on your walk although I count the walking as an exercise You shouldn't be sweating up a storm. You may sweat a little bit, you know, it's that pre-seasoning, right? That's your special sauce, special seasoning. Anyways, get up. Get your clothes on. Get out to your kitchen. Getting in salt. One leveled off tablespoon. It doesn't exactly get any easier or taste any better. So, uh, I was going to, actually I have a video I shot, I just haven't uploaded it, how to kind of do that properly. But get your salt down for water. Um, so I guess like 32 ounces or so of water, if we can get that 32 ounces of water down, just really activates your your gut your organs also just uh i think people don't realize is sleeping for what i would hope to be seven to nine hours people seven to nine hours sleep and you're just breathing respirating drying yourself out the whole night Summer. I think about during the day, when do you go without drinking something? Or 
seven, eight, nine hours. But anyways, so I like to do 32 ounces. I do, I do it split into two, like basically 16 ounces and 16 ounces of uh, warm room temperature water. Well, warm room temperature water it just implies that it's warmer than room temperature. But room temperature water, if you want the cold water early in the morning, great. It doesn't really matter. The reason why I say room temperature is just so it's easiest to get down. I think room temperature water is the easiest to just drink. You know, to stop you from it being hot or too, too cold. So we get that down. So pretty much good hydration. You got salt. Now you're going to basically lock in that hydration for the day. Now here's something I'm working on for you guys. Is that... I am advocating for taking a supplement called Yohim Bean, which has shown, you know, for about 20 years now, some good effects on fat oxidation and thermogenesis, things like that. Because we are in a fasted state. Now, I am an advocate of intermittent fasting, but I am in a phase right now where I'm experimenting without it. I think intermittent fasting ultimately is going to be a lifestyle choice for yourself if it's easier for you to eat less times a day. But we take this Yohim bean, and we're going to combine it with some caffeine, a cup of coffee, green tea, get that in their system get it going so that pretty much all this exercise that we do in the morning is directly targeted you know basically zone three low intensity steady state cardio targeted directly at our fat which in theory total bro science right but there's some actual science behind it. Will allow us to be talking about two, three hundred calories a day of just walking over ten days. That'll burn about a pound of fat, and pure fat. And that's not to talk about all the caloric uh, burning that you're doing the rest of the day. I'm going to stop in for a quick little tinkle at the general store. I'll be back in a moment. What, you guys don't want to hear me taking a piss? <sighs> taking a piss? Are you taking a piss with me? Anyways. Uh... We were talking about just morning routines with walking. Taking that yo and bean. Taking that caffeine. I suppose you guys can take a caffeine pill too. And it's just that, you know, on cold mornings, some, some coffee is kind of nice, to be honest with you. Now, what I was talking about was um, doing some research, especially on. <laughs> First of all, showing you guys <coughs> studies for yo and bean, but also uh, kind of this newer thing over the last, I say, year and a half, two years, especially when uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman had been advocating for, and a few other people uh, as well. But uh, basically. Um, caffeine too early in the day. Essentially, your cortisol is high when you start the day. You have these adenosine receptors. And what you're doing with your caffeine intake 
at that time is your caffeine will eventually cause a crash in your uh, late, later in the day because of how it is uh, basically up in your cortisol, upping a variety of hormones in your body, and the science behind it. Um, now I personally, because I've started taking coffee right away in the morning, I haven't experienced that crash. Now, you know, that, that I can like list down, I, I got to test it for myself. Um, and then also I just have to see what it's like with a little bit of caffeine the own being combo combination and see if walking and of course being in a good caloric deficit, a slight caloric deficit and eating all the whole foods, what it does to my body fat. See if it recomps a little bit and then I might have some answers for you, just at least I'm personal. You know, a lot of this stuff is like always going to be personal and anecdotal experience. There's so much stuff. I see, oh, hey, lights. There's so much stuff. You uh, can listen to Lane Norton. You can listen to Mike Dolce on Dolce Diet. Listen to David Goggins in the morning. <laughs> Have him yell at you. See, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be caught dead walking. But walking is something my dad can do, your mom can do, you can do, your kids can do, your wife can do, your grandma can do. It activates a lot of musculature. And just look at us, we're, we're bipedal apes. We're not meant to really do a lot of athletic things when you think about it compared to what other animals do. They beat the shit out of us. But uh, we are really good at just being nomads, traveling all over the place. So we're, as I meander and talk about nothing for our morning walks, Get up, take our yo and bean, take our, well, get up, take our salt, take our water, take our yo and bean, get a little bit of coffee in. I'm not down on the coffee, just a few sips, right? Get a little bit of that in. Probably already dressed and advocating for having, at least this time of the year, having like some cold weather gear out. Um, I ordered some. Thermal layers, both thermal underwear, I guess leggings, I guess the best way to think of it. Thermal leggings, thermal shirts, and then a bit better of a hat. It's got a thermal lining. I don't want to be, have a big ass winter coat while I'm out walking. And I look at, I like to do some sprints and stuff sometimes. I like to hike. So I'd rather have uh, some layer gear. So, got that stuff. Hey, Siri, and the timer. Oh, she doesn't care. We're going to go for about another 20 minutes here. You always get your clothes on. And you're just trying to get out the door as fast as you can. 
that's the, that's the biggest thing. Um, if we're, you know, we have to do a couple things to get ready for our work day. I don't, I don't think you guys should wake up. And open up your Gmail account. Start looking at those crazy ass people that were sending emails at 10 o'clock at night. We need to get some ads live or whatever the hell. You know, for a marketing agency, I need a report on my desk, like whatever it might be. I don't think that you need to look at that early in the morning and I'd advocate not looking at that early in the morning. Also, getting right up and looking at social media, Instagram, I would like <coughs> get up and start like listening to YouTube videos, whether they be like motivational stuff and bodybuilding, uh, content around walking. <laughs> um, but... Just searching for, finding the right video, phone where on your phone, just, just adds minutes. So I would say that your goal is in 20 minutes, get out of the house. You got to take a quick little jaunt or drive for your walk like I did this morning. Cool. Not just go head out your door. But I would probably you know, advocate for having like the layers and the clothing all held out or all um, laid out for your, for you. Generally, when I'm walking, as Siri just told me, uh, it takes about 20 minutes to get a mile down. So we'll get two miles down this morning. Probably like walking overall. I'm probably like walking. I think it's 2,000 steps. But look at a little over 2,000 steps is happening per mile. There's a little bit more light now. No, this thing doesn't care. It doesn't even know where I am. Ew. Yeah, definitely looking forward to getting the. Uh, new better gloves and these winter skiing gloves um but uh you know, put, put your clothes out lay them out have them ready the night before wherever your mud room may be your closet have your uh, have anything that you need to hang in there. Get yourself a pair of comfortable beater shoes. I'm wearing a pair of Nobles that I've just beat the shit out of for uh, CrossFit wads for the last couple of years. Yep, as a not like abandoning CrossFit, but I am doing stuff that. I don't expect a 50 year old person to go and destroy themselves in the CrossFit or even a person that's got a family. It's, uh, I've already noticed that doing just chiller weightlifting, I have more energy at the end of the day. And that's worth something because someone that's trying to start a business at least on the side we'll see where it goes you need a little bit of energy to complete your day I need a little bit of energy to keep working a little bit later I'd love for you guys to make sure that companies you work for don't squeeze every single little hour out of you 
but uh that energy has been helpful. Now I'm kind of like running to a spot where I don't know if I have anything to say. I guess one thing, you know, that we're kind of in the second half of our walk is um, <clears throat> I also am thoroughly enjoying not having any music, not listening to a podcast, not listening to YouTube while I'm doing this in the morning. That's also why I figured I might as well start filming it. Because you are alone with your thoughts. Which is a really great thing. I don't think we're alone with our thoughts enough. I know for myself, I always have content playing. And I realize just like I don't retain half the shit. It's just the content is just flowing all over the place. Uh Unless, like, I sit, like, if I want to listen to, like, a Renaissance periodization or a Jeff Nippert video, I need to sit down, I need to listen to it, and take notes on it. Active, active listening. Like, I was trying to explain how caffeine and density receptors fuck you up later in the day. And I couldn't even remember the information because I saw like two or three videos out of it, but I didn't practice active listening. So I, didn't, so I couldn't describe it to you right off the key. Right, right off the gate, right out of the gate. <sighs> but I love being alone with my thoughts. It also. You know, you get ideas, ideas for work, ideas for your personal life. You get ideas for content. This is where I got this idea for this. Let's see where it goes. It also kind of like forces you to see, I'm not going to say confront or address your thoughts, but it lets you see your thoughts. So the other day I was walking in and there is some negative self-talk kind of come in, creep in. Very, you know, your worst critic is yourself, harshest critic. Kind of like seep in and I think what's important when you're having that kind of come in is you're not you're not there to address it like I, I don't need to be in my walk thinking about how something in something in a child for for childhood trauma you know it eventually caused some sort of psychological concern mental health concern for me um, instead you identify that it's there. Now, this is like kind of a meditation practice. You identify that it's there, and you simply let it pass by. However, if you can, you let it pass by, and I don't know. Think of like like animal trackers, right? They shoot a a tag onto it, a tag like a shark or tag a, a whale in the ocean. So let it pass by calmly. Um, you, you don't need to fight with it. Just let it pass. Observe. Tag it. So that in your schedule, which I, you can do a journaling, you can just maybe even have a, uh, have a walk where you're confronting your feelings, but just whenever you find time, kind of address that feeling. So if it's a feeling of self-doubt, you know, if it's a feeling where you blame yourself for something, 
you know, you hurt somebody, or whatever it is, so you can address that later. Most of the times you're going to find out that it's not true. But you know what? There are things that are true. There are things that are probably right or has some right and validity to them. You know that your mind is going to make them blow them up about three or four times bigger than they need to be. But confront them, break them down, figure out why you're feeling that way, figure out why these thoughts exist, and then um, usually build up some sort of support around it. A lot of that is usually going to be around affirmation, uh, gratitude as well. But you kind of build up your affirmations. It's a good little key for your mental health. So if you're kind of fight with that little self-doubt monster that you might have in your own head. I've heard I've heard it all from him. That little self-doubt monster. So he comes in and he's you're not smart enough. You're too lazy. You're overweight. You know, why why don't you have an eight pack? You know, things like that. You come in and a little uh, little goblin monster, and you build a uh, you build your kind of re rebuttals to it, rebukes. You parry with the goblin monster. With, uh, with, you know, some simple things that you say back. Once you've kind of established that, and they're usually based on once you actually have things that you're confident in. And, you know, I think uh, as far as finding things that you're confident in, everybody needs to stack some wins. That's super helpful against the, uh, the negative goblin. Nice, my shoe got untied somehow. amazing these crossfit shoes i feel like i'm the only one that has a problem where despite double knotting them they become untied whatever But yeah, so just, you know, consider not having the music playing. Consider not having the YouTube playing. I think it's going to be really helpful for you guys. Sort through your thoughts. Let any of the negativity kind of pass through and pass by. <laughs> <coughs> We got someone out here with a flashlight. And it's in their pup, big old pup. Uh, one guy I was listening to, don't remember, was talking about you take these morning walks, you find like the halfway point, bring a journal with you, and you write down in your journal all your thoughts and ideas. Um, I can see that working. The only one thing that I, I, I feel like is when I first start walking in the morning, there is a booting up period for my thoughts and my brain. And then kind of there's a there's a bunch of really dumb shit that comes on in your head. And then uh it isn't until the second half of my walk that I feel like I have like some more clarity. 
it boots up and we're kind of like over having all of these things coming through where you can't possibly even catch all of them. Um, in the second half, the uh, cream, cream kind of rises to the top. We're going on uh, 36 minutes now, so we're just closing up the last bit. I think I can get another lap done in four minutes. We'll just go ahead and finish up that lap. And we are going to head back home for breakfast. And our nice little breakfast bowl that we started eating. No longer doing fasting. And we're seeing what it's doing. So what I'm hoping as well for this is that on the thoughts portion that I don't feel like a lot of pressure to entertain you guys. I guess you could say even like educate. It's more just like sharing. And as I can work through my thoughts on these morning walks, I can share them with you and then I can eventually I clip them up for my own sake for content because some people may be using the notebook method. For me, I'm going to review my videos when I talked to and said something. Good morning. When that thing was moving around, I was like, what is that? <laughs> the, this is, like, is there an alien out here? The dog's got a, uh, got a little flashlight on it. So I was looking over for a little while, maybe about like three, four minutes ago, and just seeing that flashlight moving around, I thought it was a person. And I was noticing that it was like very, very low, and it was moving fast. Like, what the hell is that? Bravos. That is a Russian dog name if there ever was one. But yeah, eventually I don't know where I can review these videos and also like saying them out loud or recording. I just feel like my memory is probably going to do a bit better. I'm not saying that other people need to start doing this. I look like an idiot, I'm sure. Um, but we're trying it. So I can make some video content on my little wellness journey I'm trying to help you guys out with. So I think one thing on this first video you know, I got caught into, oh, like kind of educating you guys about walking and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to try to think that through. I might think that through on my walks. What I want to talk about, because I feel like educating you guys is not the best use of my walk in combination Make some education while I'm going a little bit is good, but I don't know. I guess educating is one thing, just describing what I do. I'm only going to be able to do that so many times also. It's like introductory. Kind of makes sense that this first video would be a little bit like this. But I do want to settle into calmly talking you guys through my thoughts. I think that's uh, while I walk. And then hopefully not have everything be in complete darkness. <sighs> Morning. They also find that the morning 
crew that comes out to the park. These people are so nice. Everybody smiles at you. For the most part, pretty much everybody I encounter is at least 10 years older than me. They say that. You know, for the wiseness of your elders, and these people figure it out. Get up early, get outside. Helps with your stress, helps your anxiety. Interesting, this place, all the lights turn on at one time. All the lights turn on at like one time for some reason. Someone triggers it and then it's done. I don't know if it's a motion sensing thing or what. But just every once in a while, flash it open so you can see if the uh, murderer in the park is still standing behind a tree. No peacocks today. Been here a couple times and the peacocks are out. Interesting little spot because uh, you can ride your horses over the trail there and you guys can't see anything. But that concludes it. We're coming in on the car now. If you listen to just a couple minutes of it, I appreciate you. And... We'll continue to get better at them. Thanks, guys.